Good afternoon, everybody. So today I really wanted to talk about um, something that like I don't mention a whole lot about, but it's probably the biggest side effect and thing that's impacting me the most in having kind of that like normal life. It's what's taken away most of my independence. And that is that I always am tired. Um, like to the point where like when I was a kid and I would ride in the car, I would quite often fall asleep. It was kind of that soothing, you know, movement and everything. And a lot of people experience that if you have kids, a lot of times they're depending on the age of the kid, they'll fall asleep. Well, that is now me again. If I am in a car, particularly in the passenger seat, I will fall asleep within a few minutes of starting the drive. But it also has impacted when I do have to drive for a significant distance, I start to feel really tired um, to the point where I'm concerned that I might not off so I don't feel safe driving for long distances as well. Um, and the other day, Josh kind of had this epiphany um, because for a long time, for a lot of years, I, I'm always a really light sleeper. Um, and so I'd wake up uh, for lots of different reasons and um, and sometimes would have a really hard time getting a full good night's rest. Well, he just realized that that's not the case anymore, that I actually usually sleep pretty well uh, at night and usually for a pretty long period of time. But then I'm still tired all the time. And he really hadn't made that connection. He was still thinking it was kind of the old me that didn't, you know, only slept a couple hours a night. And, um, and that's why I was just like tired all the time. He hadn't really made that connection that one cancer and my body's fighting that my body is also, um, dealing with all of the medications that I take. And those also impact my immune system and different things that has my body in this constant, drive for more energy so it can keep up that battle. And and then I also am on medications from the anti-nausea meds to the painkillers, all of those things also make you drowsy. So I like the deck is stacked against me in the world of will Sarah fall asleep today. Um, I mean, and it's also gotten to a point too, we're just sitting in front of a computer, which is my job is very difficult and I will find myself having like starting to nod off while I'm trying to get my work done and I have to like stand up and go walk around to try and stop that because I can't just fall asleep in the middle of my work day. Um, I do have some flexibility too where I can work from home. So on those days I can split my time up in a way that if I do need to go and rest for a little while, I can. Um, but there are still days where I'm in the office and I can't just zonk out. Um, and I, and I think Josh's epiphany about it all really helped me feel one. It, it made me feel, um, noticed. Does that, I don't know if that makes a huge amount of sense, but, um, I guess I really, and it was all in the background. I really hadn't felt that he understood, um, all of the things that I was going through. And when he really figured that this out, this one thing, he's been a lot more understanding and um, <laughs> he'll give me kind of these like little sad looks um, as well as little smiles when I jump up and wake up while we're riding in the car and I go, oh, hi, sorry. And he's like, it's okay, it's okay. Um, so, I, you know, and I think that's, that's a really big thing to be tired all the time. And, um, and it would be nice if I could rest all night long and wake up and feel like, yeah, let's do this. And sometimes I do, but usually within about an hour, I'm like, Oh, okay. Well now I, I need to take it down a notch. Um, so yeah, having that as part of your life for so long, is definitely a struggle. Um, so for anyone else who has kind of gone through that or knows someone who has, you know, be understanding, be kind to yourself if it's you and to those others, because it's probably something that they legitimately can't help. 
Um, and I'm just glad that I'm aware enough of my limitations with it that I haven't made poor choices in, you know, driving when I shouldn't or um, anything like that and knowing that I need to ask for help in, in those types of cases. Um, yeah, so, so that's, that's my thing. Tired all the time. And it's okay. You know, it's something that will go away eventually. That's my hope. Um, but yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. I mentioned that we were kind of going out and we did a little exploring. There's a giant, it's, uh, it's called Sandy River Delta and it's like a thousand acre dog park, um, where dogs can like just run around. And we went down there. We didn't bring our dogs, but, um, our daughter Amelia and her boyfriend brought his dog and he's adorable. She's adorable. Um, and we didn't stay for very long because it was pouring down rain and we all got soaked. But we all had boots on and we were chomping around and Rayla was tromping around and splashing in puddles and it was a lot of fun. So we did go out and we did do that and I'm feeling okay and I took a nap there and I took a nap back. So, yeah. Alright guys, be kind to yourselves and to others. I appreciate you and I'll talk to you later.